New developments tonight. It's the case of a Brown County woman missing since 2013. Authorities have arrested her husband who, now six years later, faces a homicide charge in the case. The Brown County Sheriff's Office says James Prokopovich Sr. reported his wife Victoria missing in late April 2013. Now here's James today. Prosecutors said he and his girlfriend, Catherine Friday, who also appeared in court today, were caught lying in an investigation. Prosecutors said they believed the two were part of a conspiracy, lying about what happened until they were arrested. Authorities say James is responsible for Victoria's death. Her body remains missing. James's girlfriend is accused of lying about it. The judge set James's bond at $2 million. And this, of course, opens up a new chapter in Victoria's family's lives, going from wondering every day where mom was to now learning what authorities say happened. NBC 26's Juliana Falk shares more on the family who never stopped searching for their mother. This is a story we've been following for nearly six years, talking with Victoria's family members, covering events they've held, and sharing the photos of Victoria in case anyone knew where she was. It's our big story at 10, a night of remembrance in honor of a Pittsfield woman. Her daughter is making these flyers. The search for her continues. We talked with a local woman whose mother has been missing for years. Victoria Prokopovitz has been missing for more than six years. It's mind boggling because you cannot shut your brain off. We've talked with Victoria's daughter, Marsha Loritz, throughout the years. Loritz never giving up hope. She would learn what happened to her mother when she disappeared from her Pittsfield home leaving behind her purse, cell phone, and cigarettes. Last seen on April 25th, 2013. We have no answers. You know, um, we don't know how she left. We don't know where she is. We don't know if she's alive or if she's not. We talked with Loritz just months ago. She told us her family had just as little information more than half a decade later as they had the day she went missing. There's constant no answers. You are constantly wondering, constantly searching, and you just live in this state of not knowing. Years of searching. Even, even when you know it's probably not even going to happen, that you're going to find her, you're still looking. Years of offering rewards, years of memorials, and years of hoping that one day, a family waiting desperately to be reunited with their mother would find closure. The sadness sets in and then you start over the next day and it's an everyday thing. Now, Victoria's family is feeling a different kind of sadness. They sat in court as the man prosecutors believe killed their mother appeared. We did try to talk with them, but they asked we respect their privacy during this tough time. Juliana Falk, NBC 26.